<laughs> All right, settle in and welcome to class. Let's start with our breathing warm up. <clears throat> as you sit nice and tall, begin to focus on the bones that are deep at the base of the buttocks. As you inhale, inflate wide to the ribs. As you're exhaling, take the time to close down through the rib cage and literally narrow your waistline. Inhale, inflate. And as you exhale, cinch or drawstring, pull the drawstring of your pants. Once more, breathe in. And as you exhale, same breathing with arms. On the inhale, arms just float. Exhale, lower your arms and free your head. Inhale, arms all the way up. Lace your fingers and exhale, stretch. Stay to breathe in. And on the exhale, fingers release, shoulders release. Now remain tall and lean to the side. Inhale. As you exhale, stay sideways with your hips heavily grounded. Inhale and return upright. Take a moment and feel, assess your body today. Heavy through your hips, reach with your arm. Inhale, return upright. As you exhale, this time spin and spiral, rotate, lower your shoulders and look behind you. Inhale, untwist, and as you exhale, return upright. Go as sideways as you can. Twist and turn and rotate and square off your shoulders as much as you can. Inhale, untwist to that side stretch, and then return upright. Inhale, both arms up, turn to the side, and exhale, lower your arms down. Inhale, arms up, turn your body to the side, Exhale, lower your hands down. Inhale, arms up, come to center, and as you exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. Take the time to straighten out your arms, literally long, straight arms, and heavy head. Catch your breath, inhale, and as you exhale, tilting your head down, continue to lower your shoulders. Free your fingers, inhale, arms all the way up. Keeping your arms very straight, leaning, tilting, lifting, don't bend, Nicole. Inhale, reach out, and as you exhale, return upright, and then release. Great, so this time, arms all the way up by your head, and as you exhale, lead with your chest, lift your body, come up out of your trunk, okay? If you're sitting here, you won't go very far. Lift and reach out as you exhale. My arm is next to my ears. On the inhale, reach, and as you exhale, return upright, and then release. All right, we're starting roll down and roll up. Jerry says she misses us and she misses you. <laughs> I miss you too, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> All right, scoot near the end of the mat, place the ring between your thighs, and we'll begin. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, close the ring as best you can, rounding backward, one vertebrae, one vertebrae at a time. My arms continue, relax the neck and face, inhale. As you exhale, arms lifting, head lifting, exhaling, rolling up, use the breathing, inhale. Pull deep in the abdominals and rounding back, nod your chin down, rounding back, exhaling as you round back, inhale. Arms lift, head lift, exhale, using your hands behind your thighs if necessary, if necessary, when necessary. As you exhale, rounding back, squeeze the ring strongly and pulling your abdominals in. <laughs> Breathe in. As you roll up, grabbing your thighs if necessary and rolling up when necessary, inhale. As you exhale, grab the ring on the way and seamlessly come back with your ring. Ring in hand, inhale. As you exhale, roll up, come up to seated, sit up straight, sit up straight and straighten your legs. Inhale, pull your abdominals in. As you exhale, one vertebrae, one vertebrae, one vertebrae at a time. Breathe in. Arms forward, reach forward past your feet, forward with long arms, forward over your feet. Come backward, long arms and straight, heavy legs. Come backward and don't crash. Breathe in. Up toward the ceiling and kick up one leg. Roll up and then one leg. Good, come on back, point your foot and all the way back. 
Put your leg down, inhale. As you exhale, rolling up, second leg. Nice, inhale, and come on back, one vertebrae, one vertebrae at a time. Knees bent, make sure that your legs are closed. Inhale, roll up with both legs. Plant the ring between your ankles, 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 ankles. Inhale. Coming backward, one vertebrae, one vertebrae, one vertebrae. Keep moving. Breathe in. Roll up. Go. Here we go again. As you exhale, nod your chin. One vertebrae, one vertebrae, one vertebrae. Inhale. Arms up, heads up. Oof. Woo, that's getting harder. One more. As you exhale, one vertebrae, one vertebrae. Ah, breathe in. Blow, go. This is it, going into the hundreds. A five count inhalation, five count exhalation. Pause, here go the arms. Inhale, three, four, five, exhale. Three, four, five, inhale. Three, four, five, exhale. Three, four, five, three, two, three, four, five, four, Five, six, two, three, four, five. Begin straightening your legs. Seven, two, three, four, five. Squeezing the ring. Eight, two, three, four, five. Keep your head up. Nine, two, three, four, five. Abs, 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 abs. Ten, two, three, four, five. Exhale, three, four, five. Rest. You can remove the ring. Head down and rest. Hug your knees back way over your chest, rolling from side to side. Ugh. You people at home are lucky you're not wearing a mask. All right, <laughs> here we go. Heel taps. One heel tap, wait for the leg. Second leg, heel tap, and wait for your leg. Try to raise your awareness. Be aware of the leg staying at 90 degrees. Nice tap. Perfect right angle. Last one, leg number one. Here's the last one of leg number two. Connect the legs together, combine both heels, tap, both legs lift, both heels tap, and both legs lift. Include arms. Arms go back beyond your head. Exhale, arms and legs lift. Breathe in, heels and thumbs touch, exhale. Hey, twice more, breathe in as you ex. And here's the last one, super slow. Inhale and exhale. Hands on your shins, hug your knees into your chest, roll the pelvis a few times, and then lift your head. Hold your head up nice and high, balled up. From here, double leg stretch. Pull your hands to your shins. Breathe in, blow out. Breathe in, blow out. Breathe in, blow out. The head is in the highest position. Avoid looking at the ceiling. It'll be easier to keep your head up. Look across at your abdomen. The arms are circular pattern. Arms are going in a circle. Great big giant sweeping circle. Keeping your head up. One more. Head down and rest. Turning your head from side to side. Release the tension at the base of your neck. Oh, Woo! All right, place the ring between the ankles. If you're using a substitute, it could be a yoga block or it could be a pillow from off the couch. Place it between the ankles and start with your legs straight. Double straight legs. Slowly begin to lower the legs. Feel the deep layer of your abdominals. Pull the legs upright. As you begin again, inhale, nice long legs. And as you exhale, whoosh, pulling your abdominals in. Concentrate on the slow movement, inhale. And as you exhale, you could include arms. Inhale, arms reach beyond your head. Exhale. This could easily become the exercise where you transfer the ball or the ring or whatever you've got to your hands and then continue. Inhale and as you exhale, transfer to the legs. 
If that's too much choreography, leave the choreography out. Just keep moving the legs up and down. Inhale, reach, exhale. Inhale, reach, exhale. Here's the last one. Make sure the ring or whatever you've got is at the legs, at the ankles, and sway your legs from side to side. Sway your legs from side to side so that you're heavy on one hip, heavy on the other hip, and then the circles begin. Going sideways, circle downwardly, arrive up, reverse. Sideways, circle, around, reverse. Breathe in, blow out, pause, reverse. Breathe in, blow out, pause, reverse. Here's the last one. Arrive at the top and then rest. You can remove the ring and rest. Start with a little rock and roll, forward and back. And we're coming to seated. Once you arrive at seated, test and straighten one leg, return, test and straighten the other leg, and return, and then both legs will straighten. Point your feet, arms overhead, arms wide, arms front, and lower your legs down. Let's do a few exercises here in the seated category, and then, and then we'll move on. Seated, sit up nice and tall, and place the ring at the sternum, also called the bra line. Give it a good hug as you wrap your arms around the ring, wrapping the arms around the ring, strengthening out your legs and flex your ankles. Sit up very straight. Allow the ring to also mimic your diaphragm so that when you're filling the lungs and diaphragm, allow the ring to be its full round size. Inhale, inflate. Rotate toward me as you're exhaling. Squeeze the ring as you squeeze the diaphragm and the air out of your lungs. Inhale through the center, a little reprieve. As you exhale, compress the ring and rotate, go the other way. And on the inhale, come through the center, allow the ring to breathe. As you exhale, great, inhale. Use the exhale and crank yourself around. Inhale, go as far as you can. Last time on this side, lead with your eyes. Oh. Inhale through the center, and last time, last side, lead with your eyes. Great, come to center, and then flip out the bottom half of the ring, right past your feet. Ooh. Sit up, please. Starting with your head first, nodding your head down, Diving your head down, bring your head down and through your arms. Keep reaching straight arms and straight legs. Use your hands and pump down on the handles three times. We'll go three, two, one. Come backward and sit up straight. We're going again head first, head first, nodding, chin to chest. Exhaling, pull your abs in. Scoop out the abdominals and pulse three times. Three, Two, one, come backwards, stack up, stacking each vertebrae, stack one on the other. Sit up straight, Nicole, you're leaning back. Inhale and begin again. Head first, scoop the abdominals, hollow out. Hollow as a Halloween pumpkin. Pulse, three, two, one, and come backward all the way upright. You can flatten the ring there. Inhale, arms open wide. Turn toward me and reach past your foot. Three, two, one, inhale, and other side, three, two, one, sit up straight. And three, two, one, sitting up straight each time. And three, two, one. Last time, and sit up straight. Here's the last side, we go three, two, and one. Come to center and check in. Place your heels on the mat, with the ring between the arches of your feet, with your ring between the arches of your feet. Pizza. Pizza. You will be standing on your heels with your hands planted behind you. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, 
Good. All you have to do is straighten your legs. I can't go up anymore. <laughs> Inhale. And as you exhale, come down and take your time. You have an extra effort here in trying to keep the ring in place. Come forward and stretch. If it's becoming too challenging for you today, you don't want to bother with the ring, you put it aside. Just make sure that your legs remain closed. Just make sure that your legs remain closed. Inhale. As you exhale, push through your arms and clench the inner thighs and lift your butt while you're breathing. While you're breathing. Close those ribs. Inhale. And as you exhale, come on down with a soft landing. Bring your head with you, Nicole. Come forward and stretch. You're supposed to squeeze the ring. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And the squeeze comes from the inner thigh, right? That energy is supposed to radiate. It's not supposed to be your feet's job. It's the thigh's job. All right, should we do it one more time then? All right, our legs are closed. We're using our inner thighs. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, lift through the arms and then use your butt and don't throw your head away. Don't. Keep your head attached, aligned, straight, as if you're standing. And so Nicole, lower your chin. Just, just lower to natural, to neutral. Inhale. As you exhale, come on down. Forward and stretch. Yes. Yes. All right. So we don't need a ring now. What I want to do is the single, single leg stretch and crisscross and scissors, which we haven't done yet. So starting with one knee at your chest, straightening the other. We're taking four exchanges to roll back. Here it is. Switch one, two, three. Return up. Four. Three, two, take it back. Here's four, three, two, continue, four, three. Hands behind your head, twist now. Reach, reach, reach to the other knee, Nicole. Great, lifting, four more, three more, two. Stop on one and straighten that leg, flex that ankle. Switch legs, stay, flex your ankle. We go, switch, catch, pull, switch, catch, pull, switch, catch, pull. Keep your head up in the highest position. Grab above the knee at the calf. Four more, three more, two more, last one, head down and rest. Turn your head a few times side to side. Reaching higher than the thigh will give you better leverage for the stretch. It's a long lever. Let's rock and roll and we'll arrive at the top, meet you at the top. Great, straightening both legs and close both feet. Look straight forward, holding on above the knee. Try to hold on above the knee, it's called calves. Good, arms overhead, arms wide, arms front, and lower your legs down. Face down is next. Let's go face down. Bring your ring in front of you. Be sure that your ring is on the floor and not on the mat. Be sure your ring is on the floor and not too sticky. Oh my, it's a little sticky today, huh? Oh yeah, this is gonna be sticky. All right, so you know you have to accommodate how sticky when the ring isn't moving, you have to sort of cheat it and pick it up and then prepare to lift. So I've got my arms out in front, my legs are closed, and my head is not on the floor. I'll pull the ring in about three inches and then lift my head. As I come down, push the ring forward, inhale. Use the exhale and pull the ring toward you, lifting your torso a tiny bit higher. For those of you who are working without a ring, you're going to just use your elbows and push your elbows into the floor. Slowly lifting, slowly lowering. Take your time as you limber your spine. Those of us using the ring have to bring it in a little closer and press 
to arrive a little higher, bring it in a little closer, and press to lift a little higher. Keep the inner thighs connected, close your thighs, clench the buttocks, lift. So let's say everybody collectively arrives at the top, and this should be your personal best. On the inhale, surge a little higher, and as you exhale, come on down. Flatten the ring, crawl back, and rest. Sit back in child's pose. Let's do arms in front. Keep the arms long and allow your hands to be a little tacky on the mat. And you will nuance an extra little stretch through the armpit outer rim. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay. So the next exercise is in the category of all fours, hands, hands, and knees, knees. But since we're using the ring today, we're going to do a balance exercise on the ring. For those of you without the ring, you'll continue with lifting one leg. We are going to close our thighs together. Keeping your thighs closed and place the handle in front of you such that you must rely, you must rely on the ring for your balance. I am demonstrating that my body is tilting forward and I have weight, my body weight, on the ring. Is your ring on the floor? Yeah. Yeah, bring it back on the mat because the rubber will help it to, to keep it from sliding. My legs are closed and I know which leg I am going to lift. I already know which leg I'm going to lift. So avoid looking, looking at me, concentrate on yourself, and lift one leg. It does not have to be high, just lifting your leg off the floor is hard enough. Rely on your good sense of balance and alignment and float that leg off the floor. Pull up on your abdominals and keep a firm, braced feeling. Brace yourself. All right, and then you can come on down. Nice job. Before you lose it, other leg. Shifting just a minor shift, trust the leg you're on. Float the other as if you didn't need it. It doesn't have to be high. Trust the ring and trust your core and try to improve your sense of balance, alignment, and self-awareness. And self-awareness. And self-awareness. Woohoo! And then you can come on down. Put the ring aside and return straight to all fours and just reach back for the stretch. Grab leg number one. And lifting the leg up nice and high. Try to hold that thigh up, open up that front hip flexor. Switching legs. Oh, breathe, 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 breathe. All right, return all the way to your stomach. And if you had a towel, you could place your forehead on it. Boom. Reach back and grab one foot and hold on to that foot and stretch your thigh. Stay there momentarily as you continue to stretch your thigh and keep breathing. Switch legs. down through your pelvis. All right, now before you let go, let's do both legs. Hold on to the other ankle and try to lift your head and your chest and kick your feet back and kick the feet back. Imagine also trying to lift your thighs. Ugh, push down through the pelvis and the pubic bone and squeeze your bum. Ugh, don't hold your breath. Lift. And then you can come all the way down. Rest your neck. The exercise is called single leg kick. One leg, two strikes, and straighten. Other leg, two kicks, and straighten. Here we go. Kick, kick, stretch. Switch, kick, kick, stretch. Each time, kick, kick, stretch. Kick, kick, stretch. Stretch the leg, don't rest the leg. Kick, kick, and stretch it. 
Lengthen it, turn your thigh on, and the foot is long when you reach out. Point the toes toward the windows on the way down and try not to crash. All right, double leg kick. So the same rules apply, both legs. Kick, kick, stretch. That's what stretch looks like. Here's kick, kick, stretch. One more kick, kick, stretch, and then down. Those of us who have a ring, and if you have a ball at home, it's also a good substitute. Place the ring right over your rear end. You're going to be holding on with your thumbs. It would look like this, thumbs. On the inside, thumbs. So that you can pull, abduct. Get ready with your elbows floppy and heavy. I start with two kick kicks. I straighten the arms right over so my wrist stays long. See how I'm able to hold my ring with my thumb? My wrist can stay long. Come on down, kick, kick, stretch. Again, kick, kick, stretch. Each time, good. Kick, kick, stretch. Much better, twice more. Kick, kick, stretch. I'm impressed. Last one, kick, kick. Hold the stretch and flutter the legs. You want your thighs to lift. Now lift the chest again, chest up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Put the ring aside and then push up, sit back in child's pose. Rounding the back as best you can. Round it through the back as best you can. Breathe, 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 breathe. Nicely done. Back strengthening exercises are so important. Side lying is next. All right, should we do some hard side lying stuff starting from side kneeling? Starting from side kneeling. No bear claw today. I mean, if we go from bear claw, then we have to go from bear claw, send it under. We could go from bear claw to knees. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Sorry, people. Oh. How about we start from kneeling and then we'll go to bear claw? So I'm in the middle of my mat and um, and I'm in the middle of the mat, like on the on the 50 yard line and the 50 yard line. <laughs> I'm in the middle, middle of my mat. Good, with the knees nice <clears throat> and open a little bit. I think you just need to be a little bit forward so you're in the middle of the mat. All right, choose your side. I'm going to one side. Lift that other leg out there and lift it a few times. Lift, 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 lift. Forward and back, a big sweep to the front and back. You got it. Two more, like you're kicking right through the aquarium glass. <laughs> and then pause, double kick your rear end. Kick, kick, straighten. Kick, kick, straighten. You got it, kick, kick, straighten. Last one, kick, kick, straighten. When you bend the knee, now we're going into bear claw. Come down to knees, knees, and now toes, toes. Forward and back. Your body shifts forward and back. Shift forward and back. My feet are not moving, Nicole. My body is moving. Yay, there we go. So the leg that was already in the air is gonna lift up, 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 and then straighten that leg away. Underneath, straighten. Under, straighten. Under, straighten. Under, straighten. That's enough. Come back to bear claw, knees down, sit back and rest. Bear claw always makes me sweat. Please remember which leg you use because we're not using that leg again. Come back to kneeling. Come back to kneeling so that you're on the other side. This will be referred to as the top leg. The top leg. Now, tap, down, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift. Great. Forward and back. Front, back, front, back, front, back. Next time, keep your leg back. Double kick here. Kick, kick, straighten. Kick, kick, straighten. 
kick, kick, straighten. You got it, kick, kick, straight. From here, you bend the knee and into bare claw. Ooh. Once you're on knee, knee, immediately, up, and the body weight shifts forward and back. It'll be that same leg, which was the top leg, that you're now going to lift, keep it bent, lift, down, lift, down, lift, down, lift. Next time, straighten underneath, straight out, sweep it under, straight out. Your um, left knee should be much closer to the floor. Great, back to bear claw, knees down, sit back and rest. Bear claw is rough. This is not the side I wanna be on, so flip to the other side, sideline with the ring. Sorry, that transition wasn't very graceful. Place the ring between your ankles, please. Try no hands, try eyes closed, and try no crashing. Don't crash on the way down. When you're ready, let's do it. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Feel it here, five, six, seven, eight. Here's nine, holding number 10. Squeeze the ring, and if you're not using a ring, then a flutter, I was gonna say shuffle, flutter your legs front back, front back, front back like you're swimming. And then lower the legs down. The bottom arm is in front of you now. I know, I'm going ahead. How about you don't worry about the ring? Yeah, maybe I'll just inhale. Reach. As you exhale, come up and over and reach. And inhale down. As you exhale, reach up and over toward your feet and soften your landing. Don't crash. Again, as you exhale, blow, go, blow, go, reach. And inhale down. We're doing two more. Rely less and less on your bottom arm. Bring it in front of your chest, Nicole. And as you exhale, stay lifted and both legs up, up, up. Up, four, three, two, and one. You can remove the ring, knees bent, and place the top arm. Top arm goes all the way back to the floor behind you. Take your head with you, breathe. And try to relax your shoulder while you open the chest nice and wide. Reach the arm back even farther and farther. And then let's return so you can sit up and flip to the other side. So you're still facing the same person you were facing before. When you're ready, lie on your side and find that bone. That big bone at the hip is called the greater trochanter. Greater trochanter. Everyone has one. Inhale. As you exhale, lift and down. Lift two. Down three. Down four. Down five. Down six. Down seven. Eyes closed. Eight. No crashing. Nine. Final ten. Squeeze the ring or flutter your legs like you're swimming away. Make sure that there's big movement, big, and it's all legs, and the movement starts at the pelvis, pelvis. <laughs> Lower your legs down. The bottom arm is in front of the chest, perpendicular from your chest, not your chin. Other arm over your head, inhale. The arm is lifting, shoulder lifting, reach toward your feet. Inhale, soft landing. As you exhale, come up over, reach. Inhale. As you exhale, activate deep through the inner thighs and pelvic floor. Secure the ring, not just with ankles, but start the security of the ring at your inner thighs. Woo, two more. Here's the last one. Arrive at the top, arrive, and both legs lift, 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 lift. Nice job. Remove the ring, knees bent, and be sure that your upper body is rolling backward. Be sure your arms are still open wide and that your knees are not stacked one on the other. Unstack your knees. 
and stretch. So we should come up to seated, get our bearings, and have the ring nearby as we go into bridging. So I'm going to turn a little bit better angle. Get ready for bridging. Wake up, Nicole. <laughs> Hands at the base of your shins, and when you're ready, we'll do three roll down roll ups with your eyes closed the whole time. Closing your eyes to start. Inhale, rolling back. Exhale, coming forth. Eyes closed, inhale. Exhale, don't cheat, one more. When you arrive, open your eyes and check to make sure you're still centered. Straighten one leg, straighten the other leg, and then close and open the legs. Reach high above the knee. Nicole, like this. You'll have much better grip than up here. Open and close a few times. Next time, close the legs, look forward, and round yourself backwards slowly while looking forward. One vertebrae, 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 one vertebrae at a time. Bridging is next. You can plant that ring between your thighs, close to the knees, between your thighs. Close to the knees between your thighs means not all the way down by your crotch. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, roll backward toward the floor. <laughs> roll the pelvis backward and peeling your hips up toward the ceiling. The ring is very secured with these great inner thigh muscles. Now you can activate the deep butt muscles. Push through your heels, lift, 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 lift. You got four more, three more, two more. Pause at the top and begin to melt down. My legs are still firmly turned on. My abdominals are tight. Now release the buttocks and begin again. Inhale, scoop the abdominals and close the ribs. Tilt the pelvis and peeling up. Again, squeeze the ring and tighten the buttocks. I'm actively standing on my heels. My toes are lifted up and light. Four more, three more. Two, hold the last one, intense, 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 and melt down. Feel as if your tail were being pulled forward toward your feet. Now, we're going to place the ring on the outside of the legs, which means your legs go through the ring on the inside. If you're at home and without a ring, just bring your feet in a little narrower, just a little narrower, not closed, and keep your arms down on the floor. Everybody, arms down. For practice, straighten out your knee and toe tap the floor. Straighten, toe tap, straighten, toe tap, straighten, and then I'll say flat, referring to the foot coming down flat on the floor. Let's start from the beginning, inhale. Pull your abdominals in, stand on both legs, arrive at the top of your bridge. Keep the ring abducting, open the ring. Here's my knee extension, out, tap. Out, tap, reach, tap, reach, flat, switch legs. Here's extend, tap, extend, tap, extend, tap, extend, flat. Fix the buttocks, inhale, and begin to melt down one vertebrae, one vertebrae, one vertebrae at a time. Now that exercise is challenging enough because we did both legs back to back, only four taps per leg. The key is to keep your hip up. Don't let the body suddenly become a hammock. You can use the arms, but try not to let the arms do all the work. Repeat the exercise. Inhale, prepare. As you exhale, keep the ring abducting, arrive with toned buttocks. The second leg goes first. Extend, tap, extend, tap, extend, tap, extend, flat. Fix your butt, stand heavy on the heel, extend, Tap, extend, tap, extend, tap, extend, flat. Fix your butt, inhale, and come on down. One vertebrae, one vertebrae, one vertebrae at a time. As you come to stretching the hamstrings, you can bring your knees back toward your chest. 
You'll use the ring in a moment, but bring your knees back toward your shoulders. And then when you go to straighten out your legs, your feet are on the inside handle. And straighten your legs a few times. Inhale, knee bending, exhale, leg straightening. Yes, that previous exercise, I used the word extend, and I should have explained what extend means. I had intended for the leg to straighten out from the knee, extend the knee. So that was not meant to be a kick. It was supposed to be an extension, like all you did was straighten the knee. Now, we're bending the knee a bunch of times, and we're straightening the leg, extending, yes, to get the stretch on the back of the legs. I've got the soles of my toes and the ball of my feet on my handle so I can flex my ankles. Flex the ankles a few times. Flex the ankles a few times. <laughs> Nicole, ankles. I know. Oh. I'm just stretching this way. To okay. <laughs> ankles. Ankles, my Achilles tendon is being, ooh, ah, manipulated. I'm gonna open my feet as wide as the ring will allow. If you're not using a ring, then hold on to your calves. Rock and roll a few times, and we're doing what's called open leg rocker. Yes, one more. Arrive at the top and stay there. Are you able to maintain your position with finesse? And then remove the ring. Set up nice and tall, go long. Keep your head forward, hold on. Hold on to your legs with all your might. Use your hands and hold on. Separate the legs and open the legs just a couple more times, try. There you go, close the legs, pause and arms overhead, arms wide, arms front, and lower your legs down. Nicely done. Time for push-ups, and we are right on time. Push-ups, please. Oh, and by the way, I hurt my shoulder. I'm not gonna be able to do the push-ups, but I'll coach you through it. We're doing four on leg number one, four on leg number two, and then finally, four more on the final leg. Set. So you can start on your knees when you're ready. Let's knock it out, four. Here's one, two, three, and four when you go to switch legs. Take your time, and then you'll go one, two, three, woo, and four. All right, recharge your battery. Your final set can be on straight legs. It can be in a wide stance, whatever works best for you. Here we go. One, and two, nice, three, and four. Push back into downward dog so that your feet look heavy and heels towards the floor. Pressing your heel toward the floor, stretch out your calf and Achilles. Getting that Achilles stretch one more time. Walk your hands backwards toward your feet Arrive on your own two feet, and then take your time as you slowly start the rolling up process. Stand nice and tall, and we'll finish with a standing balance exercise. Let's finish with a standing balance exercise. Come to standing on both feet, and close the feet so that you're in Pilates V, Pilates V. As you rise onto the toes, feel the heels connecting on the way down. So you rise and then connect the heels on the way down. So they can separate going up. Yes, they must, yep. Okay. And down. So here's the last one. Hold yourself up. And you should know that it's not just your ankles, but it's also the tone, the intensity deep at the base of the buttocks, and open your chest. Good. Stay nice and still. Turning your head from side to front, and then other side, and front, and then come on down, heels connect, and then heels land on the floor. Yeah, all right, so now we're gonna finish with a deep breath here. Inhale, 
And as you exhale, whoo, nicely done, and take a bow. Well deserved. Good job, people. Excellent work. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. I will be back on Friday. Bye, Jerry. <laughs> Michael says bye, Jerry. All right, and so we'll be here on Friday. We'll be using light hand weights. So if you don't have any hand weights yet, you can order them, you know, on Amazon or someplace. Or um, a couple of cans of soup or cans of beans. And even spaghetti jar, they're kind of heavy and you might break them. Oh, hey, Rosemary. <laughs> All right, I'm signing off. See you on Friday. Thanks for joining me. Bye.